my name is Aarti. I'm the uh, production in charge person for the project called Spiralna Production Research and Training Center, which is in the state of Tamil Nadu, Madurai district. It's a unit of Antenna Green Trust. Uh, actually, we are doing many kinds of social work, like mainly about malnourishment correction among rural children. Um, basically, we are taking Spiralna as a tool. In India, we are having many uh, rural children malnourished. Basically, they are undernourished. By, uh, by uh, choosing an uh, economical, very uh, little amount of uh, food, but it should uh, um, help the people to come up from that malnourishment. We are cultivating Spirena for the past 15 years. Basically, we have covered around 20,000 children for the past 15 years. Um, we are trying our best to correct the malnourishment by giving Spirena to the child from the age group 3 to 7 years, giving them like 1 gram per day for about 6 months to 1 year through schools, through SHE uh, people, through some other NGO people. Uh, some other interested individuals. Um, we are not giving directly a spirulina uh, powder. We, will, uh, we are making some fortified product like chickies and candies so that they, uh, they can get some micronutrient uh, rich food every day. This is our main objective. Um, and the next thing is by cultivating spirulina locally, we are giving employment to the rural women. This is one more uh, objective we are uh, dealing with and apart from that we are doing some marketing too. So whatever we get the, from the marketing we are, uh, we are utilizing that for our the free trading program. Other things are like uh, we are doing some kind of uh, researchers, so small scale researchers and also some uh, students who wants to do some research on uh, spirulina, we are helping them by uh, through institutions, colleges, universities like and also we are providing training, spirulina tr cultivation training to the interested individuals plus some NGOs. Uh, they can come and stay here and uh, they can yeah, learn practically about how to uh, cultivate spirulina 100%. We are cultivating spirulina uh, in the category of Arthrospira platensis which is in the subspecies name called Lonar. Lonar is the Indian variety. Um, basically it's most of this characteristics is belongs to a blue green algae uh, like a, a normal algae but some of the qualities it belongs to bacteria so we call it as cyanobacteria. In the production unit, we are having 700 square meters of production area. Uh, here we are having like a tarpaulin made up of tank because it is a pure NGO model like because it is an, uh, uh, we can detach from one place uh, to another place, we can attach to it. So here it's like uh, each tank is having the size of 3 by 6 meters, that is 18 square meter tank. We are uh, having about uh, 12 uh, women are working in our uh, production site they, they can manage one lady can manage three tanks and um, every day they will come at around seven o'clock in the early mo in the morning they will come and do the harvesting work uh, in each tank for about four thousand liters exactly if you say exactly three thousand six hundred liters of cult culture is there in each tank that is about 20 centimeter in depth um, so every day we will we can have we can take out some of the quantity that's called harvesting so uh, we are having special cloth called mesh cloth so we are using that cloth 350 or 400 or 450 that's up to the size of spirulina we can change so using the mesh cloth if we pour that culture in through that filter we can uh, we can uh, filter only spirulina the remaining medium will go again mix into that culture so for every day we can harvest spirulina from the quantity of about one fourth quantity in that culture in 3600 liters we are taking out 900 liters from that 900 liters whatever quantity it has 
of uh, like uh, two kilos or two and a half kilos or three kilos of wet mass we are we can take it out uh, so it's like a green color uh, thick duff like so it's called slurry that slurry and again washed with um, pure water filtered water because uh, we are uh, maintaining spirulina in the very high alkaline medium so when it comes out it will have some um, other uh, nutrients too so we we have to wash it properly and then after washing we will uh, uh, we will dry in the uh, food grade polythene sheets and we are spreading very very thin way so that in four to five hours it will get well dried so in the early morning we are doing harvesting because of two we have to dry it within a day so the dried product can be eaten raw as a, also like uh, any kind of fortified products uh, for the children from uh, up to f five years they can eat just they can take uh, only one gram that will fulfill their micronutrient requirement we are not saying that uh, about uh, protein or carbohydrates or fat this is all about micronutrients the many foods we can get many kinds of nutrients the best thing in spirna is many of the nutrients mainly the micronutrients so all together is present in spirulina except two small drawbacks like iodine and vitamin c except vitamin c all other vitamins and except iodine all other minerals are present in spirulina so that it is called a superfood one gram of spirulina we can equalize to thousand grams of uh, assorted fruits and vegetables that that much of micronutrients is present in spirulina so with the small quantity of spir uh, spirulina we can rectify many kinds of micronutrient deficiencies so in all over world uh, the pupil affected by deficiencies is less uh, when we compare with mi micronutrient deficiency diseases uh, people affected with so um, uh, to correct the micronutrient deficiency diseases we have to have for uh, uh, some good micronutrient rich foods we can uh, give spirulina to the uh, to that kind of uh, deficiency disease to correct easily since it is a 100% natural product and mm -hmm. all over the world the two main micro deficiency is very common one is iron deficiency and one more is vitamin A deficiency when you see in iron deficiency uh, we are ha we can get many iron rich foods but everything we are taking we are processing it due to that processing we are um, eliminate most of the vitamins uh, iron can be absorbed by our body with the combination of some vitamins so uh, in that uh, processing we are eliminating most of the vitamins so that whatever min uh, uh, minerals we are having it will go to our body but it will not be absorbed well absorbed by our body since it is not c combined with any kind of vitamins but in spirulina in the case of spirulina spirulina we are taking as like that we are not going to processing it like we are not going to cook it so um, it has more minerals with many vitamins so it will get absorbed well if you compare spirulina with other iron rich foods it is at least 10 times better than other iron rich foods it's having good iron value and also it will be 85 to 90 percent it will get absorbed in the case of vitamin A, uh, if somebody is affected by eye defi deficiencies, then they can they will take uh, vitamin A. But uh, if we take more vitamin and vitamin A uh, in the form of vitamin A, it will uh, overdosage will give some side effects. But if it is in the form of beta carotene, then it will well absorbed and also it won't give any uh, side effects. It is hundred percent safe. So spirulina has more quantity of beta carotene that is in the form of pro vitamin A. So it will be well utilized by us and ex uh, uh, whatever quantity of vitamin A on that day we need it will convert to it and the excess amount of beta carotene will be utilized for many other uh, works like uh, free radical control and other kinds of uh, many related uh, health benefits so um, it's a um, in our view it is the best food supplement we can use all over the world to correct any micronutrient deficiency disease 
Um, normally, nowadays, there are so many kinds of uh, um, uh, disturbances like um, pollution, uh, heavy pollution or global warming or overpopulation. There are so many things. But in that way, uh, spiral now will contribute some kind of solution. Like nowadays, so, um, many people are working, working, working without taking good kind of quality foods. Previously, they are working for eating. Nowadays, they are working, working, working for having many kinds of uh, uh, house or any kind of properties to making a properties. Not uh, they are not worrying about their health basically. So, um, in the health way, it, since it is a uh, natural one and also it's like a plant, it will provide us oxygen to respirate so if, uh, even uh, it's not like a uh, normal uh, plant it's like a superior uh, to all uh, plant in in way that it, it is going to give more kind of uh, help uh, in in uh, improve your uh, health status in very small quantity so um, in that way it will be very helpful to all of us in correcting uh, uh, pollution and also in correcting uh, global warming it will be very helpful because it's like a plant because everybody we are saying that uh, plant a tree plant a tree and grow some kind of plants if we grow a spiral now in our house um, basically it will helpful to our basic health improve our health and also it will helpful to create a good atmosphere to us so in such a way in a very my uh, in this kind of way it will be useful this is my opinion